Hi, I'm Amy Wright and I work for Biotronic. On the 8th of March we celebrate and commemorate political, social and economic achievements of women across the globe for International Women's Day. In this short film we've interviewed Professor Pfeffer, Professor Pedro Brigada and Dr Sancho Teo who is the coordinating clinical investigator for an important study, BioWomen. At Biotronic, we care about women. I'm pleased to be supporting BioWomen's Day for heart disease awareness in women. I'm really featuring an editorial by the late Bernadine Healy, a pioneering cardiologist and then a the leader at the National Institutes of Health where she took two articles, wrote a wonderful editorial in the New England Journal in 1991, saying we're not aware enough of heart disease in women and that we need to have the pendulum swing towards including women in studies to understand that women are more or as likely to die of heart disease as a man, as a matter of fact, more likely than a breast cancer. And that pendulum swing happened in the 1990s and we still need to continue to work to better understand women's problems with heart disease. As ambassador for Biotronic and director of the Bio Alliance teaching program, it is a great pleasure for me to have the opportunity to send a message of congratulations to all women in International Women's Day. Most studies show that cardiovascular disease is an important cause of death in women. However, most women are underrepresented in the large clinical trial, including trials on cardiovascular resynchronization therapy. Biotronic is aware of these shortcomings and is working at the present time on trials where women will be represented as well as men in the same proportion. We believe that this will give very important information in terms of, for instance, why women respond better to CRT therapy than men and other aspects of the treatment which are specific to women as compared to men. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death among women, accounting for 51% of female deaths in Europe, but this is still underestimated as a health problem for men. Women are less likely to receive guidelines recommended heart failure treatment than men, including less heart failure education and less device therapy. In order to better understand the women's response to CRT and promote the inclusion of women in clinical trials, we designed with the support of Biotronic the BioWoman study. It is a prospective non-randomized open label multicenter international study with equal number of heart failure men and women. The study purpose is to compare CRT response rate in women and men in order to demonstrate a superior CRT response in women. It is very important to contribute to the best science emerging in the domain of women cardiovascular health. Working in this field, we hope to change the statistic Watch it at the beginning.